Today, we are going to be recreating the Apollo 11 mission in Space Flight Simulator in realistic mode. Usually in Space Flight Simulator, each planet is only 1 20th scale of its real world counterpart. But in realistic mode, everything is true scale like it is in real life. The blueprint we're using today will be linked in the description. Special thank you to KSLV for designing this blueprint. I hope you guys enjoy this mission. Before we start, I want to watch how I launched it in my blueprint review video to make sure I don't mess this up. Okay, so you have to launch and then launch again to actually get it off. Oh yeah, I remember. Okay, so this one is really laggy on the launch, but once we got into orbit, it was a lot better. So expect some lag. Let me say hi to YouTube. Okay, everyone say hi to YouTube right now and we'll put it in the video. Okay, I think everything is already set up. We're gonna attempt to do the entire mission without quick saves. Like I'll still quick save, but without loading saves. We'll see what really happens. Is that a launch escape system at the top? It is, it's got everything. This is probably the best Saturn V I've seen in this game. Three, two, one, go. Okay, yeah, it, it is gonna lag a lot. Okay, um, which stage is it burning? It's burning this one. So there's still half of our launch stage left and we are not even halfway to space. That's how much bigger Earth is in realistic mode. What's the Carmen line in normal? It's like 20K, right? 20 kilometers? In real life, it's 100K and that's what we have to go for. Okay, that's it for the first stage. So it's got like separatrons. And then I guess I fire these engines. Do I break this off? I think so. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so yeah, look how much bigger Earth is. It's actually kind of crazy. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Next stage. Okay, that's the launch escape. That fires off, and then this one. Okay. Keep going, keep going. I think it's like 7,000 to get to orbit. And there we go. Okay. So it, you almost have to get to 8,000 meters per second to get into orbit. So we are now in a low orbit and look how big Earth is. This is actually crazy. In the real mission, they transfer to the moon and then on the way to the moon, they pull the command pod out, they dock with the lander and then like pull it out of the whatever payload holder. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we have to transfer to the moon and then we're gonna get our lander docked. Okay, we gotta accelerate 3000 meters per second. After this burn, we'll be on our way to the moon. And this stage should hopefully get us there. It's gonna be close. Oh, dude, I went too much. I went too much, just barely. Oh, oh no, I'm gonna have to, I have to revert. Here, we gotta do this one. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. You guys are gonna, <laughs> whoever said first try just lost. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it was going too fast. You guys are never gonna believe in me again. <laughs> okay, I'll watch it close this time because this stage is perfectly aligned. Once it's at zero, we have an encounter. Okay, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so now we gotta get us in an orbit here. Um, let's just get really close. We're going for the Sea of Tranquility because that's where the real Apollo 11 was. Okay, 40 kilometers, that looks good there. All right, now that we are on our way to the moon, we're gonna do a fancy little move here where we break this off and we have to dock the command pod with the lander. Here we go. Okay, that's a tiny docking port. Here we go, here we go. Dock, okay. And then we, um, no, we wanna, wait, hold on. Where do we break? This one, right? I need to make sure I break off the right one. Not that, definitely not that. It must be this one. Yes, okay. So now we are just the command pod and the lander on our way to the moon. We slow down with this one so we can activate that. Yeah, 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 like that. Make sure our encounter is still how we want it. Okay, adjust it slightly with RCS. Okay, that looks perfect. Now we just wait. This is the longest time warp of the entire mission. This is like three days we're time warping through right now. Okay, so now we are very, very close to the moon's surface. We'll be able to see it now. Here it is. Okay, so we need to slow down, probably starting about here to get us in orbit. The moon landing was recorded in a studio after the landing because the cheap webcam they used overheated. 
Um, I don't know about that. <laughs> Okay, so what we're doing now is we are flying past the moon very quickly. So we're slowing ourselves down so that the moon's gravity pulls us in and we start orbiting the moon. Because if we didn't do anything, we just fly past the moon and go back to Earth. And you can see our orbit here. We got to shrink it so it's circular. Is this going to crash into the moon? That's like part of our rocket, I think. That's just going to crash into the moon. I'm actually going to wait till we're right at the lowest point to get it really circular. Okay, low moon orbit, but we want it circular going all around. I think the hardest part of this mission is going to be docking because after we land, we have to launch off the moon and dock with our command pod to go home. Just get our orbit perfect here. Okay, there we go. That is a very circular orbit now. There's only a one kilometer difference between the sides. All right, if this were real, one astronaut stays in the command pod orbiting the moon and two of the astronauts, which would be Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, get into the lander now. And then they separate and just the lander goes down. Okay, that's what we're going to do now. So we want to undock this. This is our next stage. Okay, so now we're controlling the lander. And the lander is actually a two-stage lander. There is one stage for the descent and one stage for the ascent. So we can use all the fuel. Well, actually, if it's bunched it all together, I don't know. We'll have to figure this out. We're going to start slowing down. So this, would, this is our command pod right here. That's going to stay going around the moon while we land. Okay, we're definitely going to crash into the moon. We can use all of the fuel in this stage here because this stage is our ascent stage. So as long as we have fuel left in this stage, we're fine. It takes forever to rotate when you're in realistic mode, dude. Usually your camera will rotate to make the moon the ground instead of at this weird angle way before this. Okay, I think I should keep slowing down actually. You're coming in hot? No, look, we're only going 270. Okay, we finally rotated. It's not even giving me the landing help. So set our side velocity to zero. Okay, we're going straight down now into the surface. There it is. You can see it. Okay, we're actually like not even moving. This is not the most efficient way to do this. <laughs> Gently float down there. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, did you see that? <laughs> that was not very efficient. Slow X, why did you redeem ad time? All right, that was a success. Thank you, 88% of you that thought I would do it. All right, we have successfully landed in the Sea of Tranquility in realistic mode. We are now gonna play an ad. You can all thank SlowX for this ad. And then we're gonna come back and we have to rendezvous this lander with our command pod that is going around the moon. This is, I think, gonna be the hardest part. And if we can do that, I think this is gonna be a success. Promote your shop. Spaceshipyt.com, everybody. Get your Pluto Hate Club merch. We got hoodies. We got shirts. We got stickers. We got pins. It's all really cool stuff. Spaceshipyt.com. Go buy some. It's really cool. I think we need to wait a whole cycle. We need to wait for this to be, I think, about right here. Right here. So we're going to switch to the command pod, which is still in orbit with um, Michael Collins. That's his name, right? Don't cancel me if I'm wrong. Wait for this to go around. So this is like when the astronauts would be like on the surface. I think it was in real life, it was like a few cycles, but we're waiting for this to go around the moon again. So it's easier to meet up with it. Let's go right here. All right, it is now about to fly over us. So we need to launch and go to the left and we need to use the ascent stage. Here we go. Just like this. Let's go. Let's take our boys home. I think we might've overshot it. Actually, this might be perfect. Navigate to right now. No. Okay, we definitely timed this off, which is rough. I still think we can do it. Oh, no, look, we missed it. See, it's going to fly past. Okay, that is not ideal. It's still possible, though. All we have to do now, though, is dock them separately, like not meet up immediately. So the easiest thing to do is make their orbits a little bit different. So we're actually gonna go higher with the lander to about 50, I think. And then we get the lander into orbit and then we do the rendezvous. That's not how they do it. In real life, you wanna go. Come on, crash. What am I gonna crash into? I am in space now. <laughs> I actually think this rendezvous is not what we want because they're gonna try to rendezvous with this going through the planet. We need to just get in orbit. That's what we need to do. Okay, there's low moon orbit. It might be easier to switch to the command pod and try to navigate to this. Yeah, that's exactly what we want because then we'll rendezvous here. 
Okay, so we're accelerating a tiny bit with the command pod. So they meet up close together and then we kind of, we still have to manually adjust their speeds and everything. This just makes them close to each other. So now in one more cycle at here, they should be really close to each other. So let's get closer to that. Okay, side velocity, we want that canceled out. Regular velocity, we want that up. So there's our distance. We should start to see it in a second. Yeah, there it is. If you can see that little pixel there, that is our lander that we are coming up on now. This is actually going very well. Not an ideal dock, but I think this will still work pretty well. Well, this is very maneuverable. It's kind of nice. <laughs> are you playing the real thing? Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the real one versus Space Flight Simulator. <laughs> yes! Okay, and then we see how they did it. I mean, that's a lot harder because it's like 3D. <laughs> oh, it didn't even show it! There we go, we have Doc. Okay, so if you imagine there's astronauts, there's no astronauts in the game, but the two astronauts, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin that were in here, now get back into the command pod. So we actually don't need the lander anymore. And then we can just leave the lander because the astronauts are now safe in the command pod. Now we need to navigate ourselves back to Earth to get the best, I think if we just navigate to, this gives us the best encounter. Oh my gosh, 100%, only one person put 10 points. Oh no, I should just throw on purpose and give that one person all of the points, right? Okay, let's get to a transfer window now. This should work. So we're leaving the moon now on our way back to Earth. Throw on purpose, throw, throw. If you do, then Pluto is a planet. We'll see what happens. I can't guarantee anything. So we're gonna hit the atmosphere and the air resistance will slow us down. I'm not gonna slow us down at all. So if the speed is too quick, that one person's gonna win all the chips. Cause if you're going too fast, you will still burn up. Oh my gosh, we're going 10,000. Break this off, our heat shield. Is this gonna survive at 10,000? <laughs> Worst case, we have to revert and slow down first. Cause we do have extra fuel. It might take multiple passes actually because of how fast we're going if we don't burn up here. We haven't really hit the atmosphere yet. We're not even slowing down yet. We're still accelerating. What? Wait, whoa, what? Did we, <laughs> did anything happen? <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> what? I thought we were for sure deep enough in the atmosphere. <laughs> that we'd at least slow down a little bit. Cause if we slowed down at all, it would have worked. Try it again, try it again. A whole nother pass, another week in the pod for the astronauts. The lower atmosphere starts at 30. Did I not go low enough? Our speed is not changing. We're not hitting the atmosphere nearly enough for anything to happen. Technically it is dropping very slowly. Wait, this might actually work. Believe guys, give me like 10 passes and I will save your guys' ships, don't even worry. Each time we do this, it's very slowly, it's gonna be exponential. So right now we're only losing a little bit of speed each time, but the more we do it, the more and more speed we're gonna lose. So I honestly don't, only think it'll take maybe 10 passes total. It's possible to not lose the, your guys' chips. I'm, tr I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Wait, hostile put fail also. I can't let hostile win. Oh dude, I actually don't know if it's possible. Should we accept defeat? Oh guys, we're gonna encounter the moon. All right, if the moon messes up our encounter here, we're gonna have to reset. It might help us though, actually, because it could affect our orbit and slow us down. But if it speeds us up at all, we're, we gotta reset. Or actually, we might miss the encounter. It might be on the next pass. Do you have fuel? I think there's some random fuel tank used in the design here. It's not anything we can slow down with. We are completely just free floating. Unless, wait, is there RCS built into this? Oh, you rock it. Okay, that was our last hope. Let's time warp through this, see what happens. I don't think the moon will have a big effect. This might not be worth it. We might just have to reset. If this has no effect, we're resetting. Oh no, it pushed us super deep into the atmosphere. I'll try it. I almost guarantee we're gonna burn up right here. There's no way we slow down enough or we're gonna burn up for sure. Oh my gosh, look how fast we're going into the atmosphere. The G's that the astronauts would experience. <gasps> Wait, hold on. No way, no way, no way. There's no way we just survived that. <laughs> Thank you, Hostile. 
I think you saved us. I thought for sure we were burning up and that hostile would get everyone's ships. I think the astronauts would probably die from the G's they just experienced. Also, they are definitely out of food and water by now, but the rocket has survived. All right, and here is our landing. Parachute should fully deploy. Yep, this is still five times speed. Don't worry, we're not going fast. And there is our landing back on Earth. And your chips are saved. 99% of you guys were at risk of losing your chips. So you are so welcome. You all made nothing. You just got your chips back. So that was kind of a, a stupid gamble. But there it is, the Apollo 11 mission. <laughs> Live hostile footage. Thank you for watching this video if you're on YouTube. The link will be in the description for this blueprint. That was a very, very good save at the end. I'm very surprised I pulled that off. Once again, thank you to KSLV for designing this blueprint. Uh, if you have cool blueprints, submit them on the Discord server. Say goodbye to the YouTube video, everybody. Subscribe, yes, everyone subscribe.